At the steps of the Ethiopian consulate in Lebanon, a domestic worker has just been dropped off by her former employer. Unable to contain her tears, she's quickly comforted in the arms of other migrant workers, who say they've also been ejected from their jobs amid a deep economic crisis. According to Amnesty International, thousands in Lebanon, some without legal documentation, have been left without work and stranded amid border closures, unable to access state services and vulnerable to abuse. And at the consulate, around a dozen Ethiopians have been camping in the street. 21-year-old Hyatt says they've nowhere else to go. What is happening here is ugly. They eject the workers from their home without enough clothes or their passports and they throw them here. Ethiopians make up the majority of Lebanon's migrant workforce, with many women employed as maids under a sponsorship system called kafala, which has been likened to slavery. It prevents them from leaving without consent and an employer sometimes holds on to a worker's passport. Sarah, who's been in Lebanon for two years, doesn't have her passport and hasn't received her pay for nine months. I am not garbage, she says. What should I do? Migrant workers form the backbone of sectors like waste collection and housekeeping in Lebanon, but many have barely any rights, face widespread racism and sometimes commit suicide. Outside the Ethiopian consulate, they share stories of their lives under kafala, of being beaten and having their pay withheld, as they wait for help or a way to get home.